Hello, Twin. How are you today? My name is Gabby, and today we are going to see our class number seven. So, look, last class you started reading the book Changing Places, right? La clase pasada ustedes ya empezaron a leer la historia de este año llamada Changing Places. Leyeron con sus profes el primer capítulo. Pero ahora, antes de seguir, vamos a ver un video de ese primer capítulo para recordar de qué se trataba, que hasta dónde habíamos llegado hasta ahora con la historia. ¿sí? Fíjense que en la clase de hoy, here, look, class 7, we have a video, Changing Places, Chapter 1. ¿Okay? Si yo hago clic acá, se me va a abrir esta ventana. Y fíjense que hay un video en el que vamos a ir escuchando y leyendo la historia. ¿sí? En este video ustedes van a ver que están las imágenes con el texto del libro, pero no lo tenemos que ver nosotros porque lo vamos a ir escuchando del mismo audio del video. Les cuento, yo acá en esta clase no les puedo reproducir el video ¿sí? por una cuestión de derechos de autor. Entonces, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Cada uno de ustedes va a tener que abrir este video desde su aula virtual. ¿sí? Lo que yo voy a hacer ahora es darle a cada uno unos minutos ¿sí? en el que van a tener que ir al aula virtual, abrir este link que dice Video Changing Places Chapter 1. Una vez que lo abren, le dan play al video y lo van a escuchar completo hasta el final. El video dura seis minutos. ¿Sí? Yo voy a darles un poquito más de tiempo, cosa que tengan unos segundos para ir al aula virtual, abrirlo, y una vez que terminan de verlo completo, vuelven acá al chat de YouTube. ¿Okay? Entonces les voy a dar más o menos siete minutos. ¿Okay? Yo dejo ahora en pantalla este recordatorio de que cada uno de ustedes tiene que ir yendo al aula virtual y abrir el video desde el link que les mostré. Sí. Ok, so come on, go to the virtual classroom and watch the video Changing Places, Chapter 1. Yo te espero, dale.
Ok, ¿are you ready now? ¿Pudieron ver el video? Espero que sí. Bueno, ahora sí, una vez que vimos el video, recordamos de qué se trataba el primer capítulo, estamos listos para corregir lo que fue la tarea de la clase pasada. Look at the homework. We have homework on pages 6 and 7 of the book. No sé si recuerdan que al final del primer capítulo encontrábamos la tarea de esta clase. Yes, so look here, page number six, page six of the book. Este primer ejercicio no había que hacerlo, ¿sí? Vamos a arrancar la corrección de la tarea desde acá. Word work, activity one. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. Look at the words here. Famous, animals, clothes, movies and actors. So let's complete the sentences. Now you can help me on the chat. For example, cats and dogs are animals. What about the next? Hats and shirts are... What are they? Can you tell me? Come on, write it on the chat. Yes, very good. They are clothes. Hats and shirts are clothes. Now, the White House and Big Ben are mm, buildings. You know, buildings means edificios, construcciones. So, the White House and Big Ben are what kind of buildings? Yes, very good. Famous buildings. Very good. Now, X-Men and Matrix are... Mm -mm -mm. What are they? Yes, very good. X-Men and Matrix are movies. Finally, Gwyneth Paltrow and Leonardo DiCaprio are actors. Yes, very good. So now we can continue checking the homework on the next page here. Page number seven. Okay, so... Now you have some words in the snake and we have to use those words to complete the sentences. For example, here we have a word recognizes. Everybody recognizes Tim Hawkins when they see him. ¿Se acuerdan de Tim? Tim is a famous actor. So everybody recognizes him on the street when they see him. Okay? Now, look at the other words. Vamos a ir marcando qué otras palabras teníamos acá, right? For example, idea, oops, idea, normal, feeds, sunglasses, marry, nervous, stare, Dreams, filming. Okay, so we have different words. Now let's try to use them in the sentences. You can help me in the chat. So let's complete the next sentence. People mm, at him in the street. I am dicho. Everybody recognizes Tim Hawkins when they see him. People Mm, at him in the street. ¿Qué le pasaba cuando la gente lo reconocía a Tim en la calle? ¿Qué hacían? Do you remember? Yes, very good. People stare at him in the street. Se lo quedan mirando fijamente. People stare at him in the street. Remember here, him is an object pronoun. And we are using this object pronoun to talk about Tim Hawkins, right? People stare at him in the street. Then, every morning, Hal, mm, Freddy, his dog. So what does Hal do every morning? Yes, excellent. Hal feeds Freddy, his dog. He gives food to Freddy. What about the next? Sophie wants to mm -mm -mm, Hal. What does she want to do with Hal? Can you tell me? Come on. 
Yes, Sophie wants to marry Hal. Yes, they are going to become husband and wife. Now, Tim is mm -mm -mm in Hal's suit one day. So, do you remember this? What is Tim doing in the zoo? Yes, excellent. He's, fil sorry, he's filming in Hal's zoo one day. Hal has a very mm, life. Can you tell me about Hal's life? Has he got an exciting life? No, right? He has a very normal life. Then, Hal has interesting mm, at night. What does he have at night? Do you remember? Yes, excellent. He has interesting dreams at night. He dreams that he's famous and he has an exciting life. But then he gets up and he's Hal again. He has a normal life and he's job at the zoo. Let's continue with this activity. In his new film, Tim wears... Mm -mm -mm. What does he wear in his new film? Okay, yes, glasses. No te das cuenta que yo marqué una palabrita mal antes. Yo dije sunglasses y no era sunglasses. Tenemos dos palabras acá. Pan and glasses. Sorry, it was my mistake. Glasses es la que, la que acabamos de usar, nos queda fun. No era una S, sino una F. Ok, then. Hal must marry Sophie in two days and he feels... Mm. So, habíamos dicho, Hal se va a casar con Sophie dentro de dos días. And how does he feel? ¿Cómo lo hacía sentir esto? He feels... Nervous. Yes, very good. He feels nervous. Then, Tim has an interesting mm when he sees Hal. What has he got? Can you tell me on the chat? Yes, he has an interesting idea when he sees Hal. And then, changing places with somebody can be a lot of mm, a lot of fun. Yes, look at this last sentence. Changing places with somebody, cambiar de lugar con alguien, can be a lot of fun. Puede ser muy divertido. So, now you can write corrected in class. Tenían un último ejercicio donde ustedes tenían que tratar de adivinar qué va a suceder en el próximo capítulo. What happens in the next chapter? Entonces, ahora, cuando lean el siguiente capítulo de la historia en Zoom con sus profes, van a poder chequear si habían adivinado o no, si estaban en lo cierto con las predicciones que hicieron. So, now, Twin, you are going to continue working on Zoom with your teachers. Bye, bye, everyone. See you next time.